Hey guys, I just want to do a quick sit down and talk about the production and aftermath, I suppose, of my magnum opus in terms of YouTube videos, Doctor Who is the Greatest TV Show Ever Made, a video essay. Um, this has been a pretty big project for me. I've, I've made no secret of that. This has been pretty demanding. I've been working on it for about uh, two, almost three months, I'm pretty sure. I started back in July. That's when the first draft of the script was. And it finished um october 1st i believe but it's coming out october 10th this saturday and you know this should be scheduled to release the day after um so the first i let's video essays as a genre on youtube um it's always been something that's fascinated me um it's basically my go-to youtube video kind of genre nowadays I used to be a big gaming guy you know markiplier jacksepticeye i steer away from that crowd about Look at my watch. Um, about two or maybe a year ago, probably two years ago, back when Fortnite took off, I was probably in that neck deep and whatnot. But after that, I kind of drifted away from that whole scene. You know, the Uber game Let's Play kind of stuff. It's not very entertaining, I have to admit. But uh, yeah, it's it's more the content creators that is the value out of Let's Plays. I understand that. Um, but as I started to kind of not relate to characters like Markiplier or Jacksepticeye. It started to become kind of soulless. That's when I lost interest, as I'm sure most other kids my age did. Um, and then I started, you know, realizing I had a passion for film, of course. I've always been a visual artist, like I mentioned in the video essay. Um, drawings all over my room. And uh, like I said, film is kind of a precursor, or it's a, it comes after visual arts. It's kind of Visual arts is the first step, and then after, if you're right, I guess visual arts is its own media, but it's a gateway into film art, or vice versa, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, visual arts planted the seeds of my interest in art, um, and then I realized that movies were an art form, and then I was like, holy shit, I want in on that, and I've only been doing YouTube videos, so yeah. Um, cinematography in general, the art of film, writing scripts, acting, cinematography, working with cameras, all that jazz, it's all an art form all pieces of art having to be completely mastered coming together to create this amazing product kind of, that's kind of like the idea that my video essay was having chapters on each section and how doctor who perfects them culminating in an explosive video essay saying my point i think well at least that's how i approached it um and i i, I in terms of doctor who video essays it's doctor who is a very very complex show and I've always been in the kind of analysis camp. I love looking into things a bit deeper. It's very entertaining and very educational. Uh, I watch people like Full Fat Videos, Clever Dick Films, obviously, um, and a few other guys. Any video essays I can find on YouTube. And I kind of wanted to dip... I had ideas about dipping my head into it, but the whole making video essays, it kind of sh sounded like a genre that I just wasn't ready for at the time. Um, I didn't have access to any of the episodes, and it's just a level of editing that I was very scared of. And I, you know, writing the scripts, it's a it's a big process making a video essay, a lot bigger than people think, at least to make like a, a huge one like I did. Huge in terms of length and longevity, because Jesus, it, it took a while, as I'm sure everyone knows. Um, so I, I, for a while, honestly, I haven't been really into Doctor Who, as in for a while as in for like a long stretch of time i forgot about doctor who it was in the past in my childhood um i got a resurgence in 2018 and then in 2019 i got another deeper resurgence and i started watching the stuff all the time and um i think in early 2019 that's when oh yeah that's right I watched them on Amazon Prime in 2018, all the Doctor episodes, because they're on there free with Prime. Um, and then in 2019, or no, no, no. Yeah, in 2019, I watched them on Amazon Prime. 2020 came, and they were gone off Amazon Prime because they were moving them to HBO Max. And that was the whole deal. So for, and HBO Max launched in May, I'm pretty sure. For So for six months, I had no Doctor episodes. I couldn't watch. So I started renting them on YouTube for like two bucks and i watched them there um and then i f made my first doctor who video on youtube april 21st 24th 2020 and that was a top 10 um i have a notepad on my computer ranking doctor who stuff since it's just such a 
you know, I, I like the, I'm sure you guys know at this point, I love Doctor Who. So I, I just kind of have rankings on my computer about just anything. And um, that did okay. I had a lot of fun with the thumbnail. I, I like talking about Doctor Who. And then I made a follow-up one during the summer, ranking the Doctor Who series. That was great. And then I don't know what the catalyst was for coming up with this idea. I think it was my passion for Doctor Who and my desire to make something awesome, to make something that I was really proud of. And then it kind of just collided together and became whoosh, the Doctor Who video essay. And that was great. And I got the concept and I was like, I am so ready to just settle down, dip my head into this stuff and make something that's really awesome. So, and that's what I did. And then on July 17th, 2020, that is when I put out my first video about me writing the script. And this was pretty, on the same day I came up with the idea. I just, I got my computer, I got a Google Doc open, and just typed away on the same day. And then I made the videos and then I started just shoveling out videos about me writing the script because uh, I wanted to document my progress and that was just day after day after day until my script came together and even the last video there are four parts of it the last video of that stopped in like the end of July um, the script was being written until like maybe two weeks ago I finalized it um, it, it was constantly going through uh, drafts especially during production of it like editing it together I would put the script was fine on its own and then I would put my voiceovers and you know the footage and the music together and I would lay it out in the timeline it didn't work so I had to go back to the drawing board write new scripts and then read it over again and it worked better I had there's a lot of back and forth with that to make sure I was really proud of it I wasn't gonna just stick with one draft because your first draft is never your best draft ever and I really wanted to make sure this was some good shit um, so yeah that production started um, reading the voiceovers was very interesting. It was very hard for me to disembody my voice, um, for most of it. Um, you think it's going to be pretty easy, but, um, there's a lot of background noise. I have my computer as loud as hell, and despite the sound, I, my room echoes quite a little bit, so it's, it very felt much like just my audio, and I'm, I'm missing the face to connect it to. That was a bit strange at first. Um, in fact, the first chapter of um, the video essay and the prologue, it, it took a lot longer than the whole rest of it just because I was getting to grips with the new style of video that I was making. Um, but I eventually got the hang of it and kind of just sped things up a bit and it went along. Um, the script, I, I'm going to go back to the script here, uh, pull it up here. I started with, I mean, I from the beginning, I had no inkling of how long it was going to be. I was just kind of writing and writing and, and however long it was is just how long the video was going to be. Um, and originally I was just kind of writing paragraphs and I had an idea of how it was going to go. I started to develop how I wanted the script to go with a table of contents. Uh, I be I think the chapters at the beginning were just the premise, the writing, the directing, the acting, and what it means to me. So five chapters. And now it is nine chapters. It can't be right. Oh. I listed cinematography as chapter five. Whatever. I'm not I'm not taking another video at this point. Yeah, we're missing a chapter four. Whoopsie. Guys, just don't don't worry about it. Chapter chapter four is not supposed to be there. I noticed it in post production. I'm I we had two chapter sevens. Music and the Chibnall era are both chapter seven. Again, I'm not taking down the video and re-edit. I mean, I might. I have a whole week. I might. You might see a different video. I'm probably going to have to. I have a lot of time to fix that. I'm going to fix that. I will fix that. I'll tell you what, I will fix that. I'll do it before I go to sleep tonight. Um. Anyway, aside from editing errors, um, that was this. And then I, I broke up the writing chapter into character writing and story writing because... The writing was the longest chapter because there's, there's just so much to talk about with Doctor Who. There's so many episodes, so many characters, so many plot points, and I wanted to talk about everything. It was w super long, and then I still realized I didn't talk about everything, so I split it up into two chapters, character writing and story writing, and that's how it ended up. And then I changed directing to cinematography since I focused more on, you know, composition as opposed to, like, actual directing, which is pretty much everything. Um, acting was always in there, and then I added music and the Chibnall era, 
the chip not chapter <laughs> chapter seven is a bit of an anomaly because <sighs> um i did not really want to talk about the chip era in my original the original idea was just to talk about everything i love about doctor who Chibnall era being here is the black sheep of these chapters, and I'm still not content if I really love it, considering, like, 60% of the video is just PNGs because copyright hit my video like a truck. Um, but I, I added it in because in my prologue, like, the, the thesis of it, basically, I talk about why I love Doctor Who, and there's there sort of had to be a purpose to talking about it, so I made it, oh, I'm comparing it to Chibnall, so... I oh I, actually no it was because I was talking about series one through ten specifically there had to be a reason that I was excluding series eleven and twelve since they are technically part of modern Who me systematically excluding them people were going to ask questions about that so I, I figured I had to include some justification for why I did that and that's how chapter seven came to be did not have fun with that chapter did not have fun writing it I did I put no effort into it and I don't even care. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I spelled it out in the video that the, the, the Chibnall era was not something that I had my heart into. And I only watched three episodes, and it's not good. I, I talked about that, so I, I, don't, I don't consider this, like, hypocritical at all for me to say that I did not like writing this at all. I guess I did. I liked making jokes about Chris Chibnall and putting his picture up every time I say his name. But other than that, it was pretty boring. Uh, that's why some of those chapters are literally like one sentence. Like the cinematography, I already covered why I didn't like Chris Chibnall cinematography in my own cinematography chapter in the rest of it. And this subchapter of cinematography felt redundant. So I just made it one sentence and I didn't even care. And I, I think it works fine. Um... Yeah, but my heart wasn't into that. And eventually, I just added more chapters, and now we're at eight chapters and a, and a prologue and epilogue, so ten chapters, which felt like an even number. And, you know, the word count kept going up and up and up, and I never really cared about the word count, but, yeah, the final tally for the word count on this is 9,486 words, almost 10K. Well, not almost, but, you know, 9K, almost 10K, I guess. So, yeah, that was... That was something. 24 pages. It's uh, quite a lot of work that went into this writing. And uh, I'm proud of it. And then the production. You know, putting this in an editing software. This was the most time-consuming part of the essay. Of course, because, you know, you have to get your footage. You have to get your music. You have to put it all together. You have to make it entertaining. It was a long process, but a process that I'm ultimately happy with at the most possible length and what i mean by that is okay the the pure the pure cut of this video essay is on my computer it's listed as editor 16 i believe this is the cut that has no censorship that no like screenshots or whatever yeah this is this is pure um, because I had, a, I'll get into the copyright problems later, but I had so many, not so many, well, I did have so many claims, but none that made the video go down, which I, which was fine with me, uh, cause I had, I had no desire to get money off of this at all. I just kind of, because a lot of video essays, I guess that's another motivation for why I did it. Cause a lot of video essays are like ad free. They didn't really, um, aren't allowed to go very far with, um, the kind of point that they're making because they have to comply with copyright. And I never really liked that. I kind of wanted to make a purely Doctor Who documentary kind of thing without money as a concern, um, which is why Clara Dick's films was a huge inspirement because he uses Doctor Who music, he uses footage, he uses all that jazz, and he doesn't he doesn't care. And I admire that quite a lot, since a lot of people are so obsessed with making money off YouTube. That was a big inspiration. Um, and I, I'm pr I'm pretty happy. I used only Doctor Who music for the most part. And even the other music was just like other genres that I threw in. Like, for example, the Ocarina of Time part, I used an Ocarina of Time cover. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's the only one. Maybe maybe one more, I'm not sure. The rest was all Doctor Who. Um, I used only Doctor Who footage. I, I mean, of course, the, 
the shit that got claimed had to had to have pictures thrown up instead of footage, which is ridiculous. And I I don't really want to get into a discussion about free use and all that jazz, but I really hate that. I hate it. There's no win winning one of those copyright disputes. Um, what my video is is 100% transformative because there's a lot of videos out there that just repost clips of Doctor Who, and I do do that in this. I do just kind of put up clips from Doctor Who wholesale, but they're not just up there for the sake of seeing them for free. They're there to, one, provide as evidence for my, my explanations and to use as comparisons to other things. Um, and there, there are other... There are several parts of the video essay which serve as like montages, um, and those are only to kind of hammer in the the true epic longevity of the show and make one cool little sequence. I've always wanted to do something like that, so I threw those in for my own benefit. Thank God none of those got claimed because I loved doing those. But when I first started doing the editing for this, I had a lot of fun with it. I was just blown away by my own work. The first 10 minutes of the video, I would just play over and over and over, like, wow. I was I was blown away by myself, especially that cold open, like the the part from The Family of Blood where they're talking about he's like fire and ice and rage. And I had the clips of the doctor being angry and stuff, and I was like, and the burning tension. And then it goes to black. Boom! And then the majestic tail plays, and it's the title card. Great stuff. I loved it. I loved doing that. It's one of my favorite parts of the video. And it came out great. Um, I spent a lot of time on chapter one and chapter two and the prologue. There's about 10 minutes of video time there. And just because I was um, growing pains in terms of the video production, uh, it took a lot of time to get used to. But once I got under the hang of it, like I said, it, it got better. Um, the big thing, the big hurdle, and for a long time, it's, almost, it's kind of the reason why the video took so long to come out is uh, because I was doing script changes whilst I was editing it, a lot of times the production of the video was halted completely because I didn't have the script written out yet. And it was it was hard to just get in there and do it. And it, obviously the hardest part is starting, but yeah, it's, a, it's a long process. Because I, I had written character writing. I'm pretty sure I read the, wrote, wrote that. And I knew I wanted to include story writing because I did not talk about the stories at all and I needed something of that so i had chapter three just sitting there blank as hell and i couldn't continue on to do the other chapters i had to write chapter three next and so for the longest time i just didn't write it i had a little stinger opening but i did not go in and write the waters of mars and the heaven center uh anal analysis and reviews because it was a lot of stuff those are my two favorite episodes it was very scary to go in there and write the scripts for them and for the most part i'm happy with them um but it took a long time it was a big hurdle to cross and I eventually got around to it, but that was like a month and a half, I'm pretty sure, of production. And once I got past story writing, which I got past like three weeks ago, maybe two and a half weeks ago, all of a sudden I was blazing on. I got cinematography, actually no, cinematography took a while too, but after cinematography it was whoosh away because I had to write... I wrote cinema. I rewrote cinematography, but that wasn't one that I was sitting on. I, I got on that pretty much immediately. I'm pretty sure, and I always had to write the Chibnall era. And I'm. Pr what's very interesting is, I'm very spontaneous right now. What's very interesting is, I wrote all of these kind of like I wrote the uh, I wrote the scripts first, and then the video later, like way later. Or I, I took a while to write the script, but I was waiting to do the video, and I was just in there doing other stuff whilst I was procrastinating doing the scripts for those parts. After the acting, I had the music and Chibnall era, and I had not written those at all, but I knew after I wrote Ch the acting and it became what it means to me, I realized I'm not including all the awesome stuff that's in this, including like the, the music, of course, which I put in at last second. It's only a three-minute chapter, but I had to put it in there. I had to talk about Murray Gold since like his music is some of my favorite stuff ever and i i was basically writing that during school and most of the latter part of this video was made in class during school like in a separate document whilst the teacher was talking in my left ear i was making my doctor who video essay in my right ear i wrote it voiced it over and put it in the timeline during school and like it was all consecutive like i didn't have time gaps there wasn't any waiting around i wrote the music I read it and I put it in like that evening 
and I did the same thing with the Chibnall era. Um, and then what it means to me is my favorite chapter. That was I knew I I knew I had to save that one for last, and I'm I'm kind of upset that Chibnall era came right before that because you have the sour taste of the Chibnall era in your mouth, and then you come back to like awesome Doctor Who stuff. I would have loved a little bit more praising of Doctor Who, and then I got to my uh, the big part of the video, the really big emotional part what it means to me and i really wanted to make that one connect with people since a lot of people have strong feelings about doctor who that watch it and especially watched it when they were young as did i so i really went all out with that one i it, it was it's great it's a great chapter i'm very happy with it um and th that's by far my my crowning jewel of that i love the music i used with it i was originally just going to use validation um, but then I realized it was too loud, so I threw, uh, the 11th Doctor's Regeneration theme in it. It's Trenzalore, the long song, and I'm information in reprise. Um, and that works really well. Worked really well. And conveniently enough, the timing for the end of that section ended right when the song ended, and that was perfect. There was a little bit of in-betweens, but I just kind of put a little montage of the, the Doctor's Regenerating, and that, and that sufficed. Um... But production with this one went on and on and on and it was it was difficult and grueling and time consuming of course um but i got my footage eventually i got the music put in there the voiceovers uh the script got finalized and ultimately i'm happy with it so my pure version is edited together i finished it october 1st i put a thing out on instagram like i'm so happy it's finally done because i was and i i am it's 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 a huge thing and then i was like okay everybody this thing's coming out tomorrow. All right, I can't wait. It's coming out tomorrow. I did not check for copyright claims. Okay, so when I finished the video, um, and I rushed the thing out, I was like on Instagram, guys, I finally finished it. This is the biggest thing ever. It's coming out tomorrow at 2 p.m. Everybody in the comments going, let's go. And I'm, I'm just hyped as hell that it's finally finished. I can't wait for people to see it. And... I, and that night I throw it up and I got, wait, I had to make a thumbnail and I spent like two hours trying to make a good thumbnail because the thumbnail is like the most important part of it is the people, the thing that people see and they're recommended and it's going to make them want to click on it, of course, but it also has to be good. And I had four different drafts, as you can see, draft number one is up here in the top left, draft two, top right, draft three, the bottom left, and draft four is the bottom right. Obviously draft four is the most lazy. That is legitimately a screen cap from the, you know, the title card, but it was, it was so good. I kind of threw it in there just to, you know, let myself to kind of decide. I was never really going to go for it though. Um, bottom left over here was the first one I made. I kind of wanted to make it, you know, all the doctors in it kind of continuity and whatnot, but I just, it looked too shitty, honestly. So I, I didn't really like it. I wanted mine to be grandi grandiose. So, uh, top left is the one I made next, I'm pretty sure. Um, this one was, the two at the top are the top runners for what I was going to go with. Um, I liked the top left because it was a great shot and looks epic as hell. It has Doctor Who in there and it's got big ass text so people see it and they're recommended to be like, holy shit, video essay and whatnot. But I ultimately went with top right over here because it was more clean it looked more professional and i still think it would have gotten clicks because it looks sl slick as hell so I, f I eventually went with that and then uh that's the one i made but i, I did a couple touch-ups here this is the final product i put the text in there and i also desaturated a bit uh and that's the one that's on youtube right now i'm pretty happy with it anyways i throw the thing up overnight i'm sleeping it's a saturday morning i wake up i've all the copyright emails like you've been claimed for blah 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 footage music didn't care didn't care if i got money for it all the ones i care about are the ones that block the video of course because then people can't see it people can't love it and uh i had three i'm pr uh no 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 it was just one for some reason it only listed one even though i would it would alert me of more later on but the first email i got was just one blocked footage and it was for the ghost monument prayer um just some footage in the video so um I, okay i was like okay i woke up at 11 a.m that day so i had to rush that into the editing software and exporting takes like three hours so i wasn't going to make the 2 p.m deadline i put it up again and then all of a sudden even though i fixed the ghost monument there was more i got one for heaven sent one for the woman who fell to earth and for rosa 
and then I realized I couldn't just replace the footage, I had to get rid of it, but I couldn't move the timeline because there's so much shit in there, it's going to ruin everything, and I was panicking. So what I did was I just took pictures, screen caps of the footage in the editing software and just threw it back in there with some text up saying, sorry, this part has been turned into a picture because the YouTube is mean to me. And I hated that. It was so, t I mean, most of them were on shit note, but the one for heaven sent crushed me because I really wanted that, that part of the video to be pure because that was like, that's my favorite episode. I didn't want to have just some dumbass picture sitting up there. I wanted it to be footage to kind of go with my points and it, it really hurt because it was like the most important part of that part of the video it's still talking about the breakdown of the doctor and where he meets clara and that's a big turning point for the video and they're just like sorry we've claimed this footage go fuck yourself it's just like come on guys i'm not i'm not just reposting it this is a video essay i put time into the script it's just footage i could dispute it but never gonna happen in a million years it's so infuriating if anyone took a look at it at all, they would know I'm not reposting shit. There's not even any audio. I mean, there are, there's audio, but it's not for the whole footage of the clip. They just claim the whole damn thing. It's terrible. It's a tragedy. For most of the Chibnall stuff, whatever. I was, I was kind of happy that most of them got put on Chibnall because that part of the video is just like not, I don't care about it. But I, I mean, at this point, almost all of it is a picture since... Apparently, the BBC is so greedy to have all of Chibnall's footage snipped away. I love how, like, one hour of the video is Doctor Who, and only one, or uh, one hour of the video is Series 1 through 10, and only one of it got claimed, and it was Heaven Sent. And I only have, like, five minutes of Chibnall-era stuff, and almost all of it gets claimed. It's ridiculous. But I, I, it was, like, five times. I went back to the editing software, put a picture in, Put it back up, got more claims, put it back in, got rid of that stuff, put it back in, and finally, finally I got a pure version. A version that didn't get take, taken down, none of that, and it finally worked. And about six sections of footage had to be replaced with pictures, I'm pretty sure. Heaven sent two clips of the woman who fell to earth, uh, Ghost Monument, Rosa, and another clip of the woman who fell to earth, I'm pretty sure, so six turn into PNGs, almost all of the Chibnall era section, but I don't know, man. I still have my own pure version for my own personal benefits. I might throw that one up on daily motion or whatever, but I'm I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I'm, I'm not super happy with, you know, having to turn it into pictures, but whatever, I'm not, I'm not going to complain. Most of the video was okay, and overall, it was a damn long process to make it, but I'm very happy with how it came out. I love how professional it is i'm very proud of it it's not something i would have ever seen myself doing but i'm like i said it's just it's the biggest thing in the world to me and uh yeah so thank you everybody so much for watching my afterthoughts and the production of why doctor who is the greatest tv show ever made video essay we all enjoyed um and i don't really know what to do now i'm kind of done with video essays i'm gonna probably i might do one on the master I didn't talk about the Master or Enemies at all in that video. I said I want to talk about how the Master is the best villain in Doctor Who. Um, and I do want to do one on Better Call Saul. I got the idea for that one kind of a little bit. So I might I might do that one. I'm not sure which one I'll do first or if I'll do any of them at all anytime soon. I might want to take a break from all that stuff and do kind of low back, low laid back stuff. But we'll see. Bye, guys.